The spindle drives your screw gun's bit holder. The bit holder is secured to one end of the spindle and one of the clutch plates to the other. Over time, the opening for the bit holder can wear, leading to play in the holder. Replacing the spindle is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Socha. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the nose piece. Now I'll remove the bit holder. I'll place it in the vise, gently tighten the vise, and then I can pull the drill away from the bit holder. Now I can remove the clutch housing from the rest of the drill. I'll place a wrench on the front of the housing and remove it. And this is a reverse thread. Now I'll remove the spindle from the clutch housing. Now I'll clamp the spindle in my vise so I can remove the retainer. With the retainer removed, I can remove the ball bearing. I've clamped the spindle in my vise, so I can remove the clutch plate. The plate's held in place with a retaining ring. I'll use a pair of needle nose pliers to keep the ring from rotating, and a small pick to pull it away from the spindle. Now I can remove the clutch and install the new spindle. I'll be careful not to mar the spindle with the vise. I'll slide the clutch back onto the spindle and secure it with the retaining ring. Now I'll reinstall the retainer and ball. I'll begin by sliding the retainer over the end of the shaft. I'll use a pair of split ring pliers to squeeze the retainer open to get it started on the shaft. I'll rotate it around so the hole in the retainer is lined up with the hole in the spindle. Work it on a little ways farther. Now I'll place the ball bearing into the spindle and carefully slide the retainer over the bearing, being careful not to lose the bearing. Now I can put the spindle assembly back into the clutch housing and screw it back onto the drill. Now I can reinstall the bit holder. And now I'll reinstall the nose piece. I align the tabs inside the locator with the grooves on the clutch housing. 
And once aligned, I just press the collar onto the detents. And that's all it takes to install a new spindle in your screwdriver. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up 